Today we are going to introduce the security surveillance camera systems. So first of all, we're going to review, look at uh, uh, how many types of uh, security cameras. The most ancient and uh, most uh, used camera is this camera, which is uh, AHD camera, which is analog high definition analog camera. So it's also called a CCTV camera. CCTV or analog camera has been around for a long time. Okay. So this is the form factor of this camera is called a dome camera. It's like uh, half the sphere. It's a dome camera with the with the infrared LED, it has night vision. So let's look at the interface of this camera. This is called a tail cable. It's look at the tail, if we look at the tail cable, we can see power supply, which is uh, 12 volts, one amp, center positive. And uh, we also see a connector, which is for the video signal. Uh, this connector is called a BNC. The, there are also several varieties of HD camera. First of all, the specification, uh, like uh, 720p, 1080p, or 4K. Or right now we have like five megapixel HD cameras. So in terms of a resolution, there's going to be no, not much difference between, uh, not much difference in terms of the choice between the HD analog camera and the digital camera. We're going to talk about the digital camera later, okay? So this BNC, you can see it's an analog signal, obvious. It's around, uh, the frequency of it is around like 2 mega, 2 megahertz to 12 megahertz band. I could be wrong, depending on the format. Uh, it can be like two kinds of uh, format. Analog format, one is called a PAL, P -A -L, the other is called a NTSC. Okay, so these are called analog uh, camera or HD camera. Now let's look at the other camera, which is more recent. Let's look at this one. This is the fixture, the camera mounting fixture like this yeah. this this is a 720p analog uh, digital camera okay if you look at the form factor there's not much difference between this stone camera and this stone camera not much difference but if we look at the tail right here you can see a uh, very different we have power supplied Again, it's a 12 volts, one amp center positive, but instead of the BNC analog video signal here, it's Ethernet, okay? So once you see it's an Ethernet, it means uh, it's a digital camera, or called, uh, sometimes we call it a network camera, or we call it IPC, okay? IPC for IP camera. So most of the digital camera, if you see a uh, Ethernet, in this case, this is a perception camera from Linksprite. This Ethernet connector has PoE module. What is PoE? PoE stands for power over Ethernet. So if you have a hub that output that supports PoE, means it supply the power through the Ethernet cable, then you actually don't need this connector. You don't need to apply 12 volts here. The camera will harvest the power through this Ethernet cable. Okay, this is called PoE. And this is just the regular uh, digital camera. I would call these two kinds of camera, one is analog, one is digital. Also, are they different from the uh, format point of view? But all of them, I will call them a feature camera. What does that mean? It means you use these cameras to do surveillance, to check the video, live review, live view of the uh, 
video and also is if you use the network video recorder or video recorder a digital video recorder I'm going to talk about what's DVR, what's NVR later then you actually record those videos continuously or motion detection trigger okay so I will call them feature cameras Links bright or more recently have those things called AI camera, okay? AI camera. Uh, Deepcan is just another brand of uh, Links bright. Uh, recently, we uh, upgraded the name to be Percepcan, okay? For perception, okay? Percepcan. So if you look at this camera, this camera, first of all, if you if we check its tail signal. This is really cool, see? It has power supply, 12 volts, 1 amp. It has this AV connectors, means it can output analog signal. So you actually can use this camera as a HD analog camera. What do you need to do? You, you, you just need to run the cable, like uh, the uh, network cable, to your DVR and also it has Ethernet cable okay which has PoE okay like uh, uh, we call this IPC camera moreover it also has this antenna so you can configure it to use a Wi-Fi connection okay and this camera is AI artificial intelligence camera or smart camera why is that? This camera has built-in uh, neural network processor. So when we install this camera, we can do right live stream of the video, like the analog camera or digital camera. But also, it's going to try to snap the faces. So for example, if, you see, if it sees a face of a human, then it's going to capture the face, detect the face, and then track this face. So if you're moving uh, in, this, uh, in the camera's view, it's going to track the face. And once you leave the view of the camera, it's going to output the best available face and uh, push this face to uh, Linksprice uh, uh, AI platform called AI shop okay so then it's going to analyze this face to do the uh, facial recognition okay it can do custom profile for example it can give you the age gender and the uh, how many times they visit your store and also it can do face clustering and it can also to do the recognition of the people on the blacklist or the VIP and push through the mobile app called Perceptcam. Okay, we have introduced all those three cameras already. Now let's look at the other very, the other very important uh, component, which is called a video recorder. There are two types of a video recorder. The first one or Asian one is called a DVR. Digital video recorder. If we look at the back pane of the video recorder, if you see all those BNCs, then it's called a digital video recorder. Digital video recorder is supposed to work with analog camera because here it's got a BNC. All you need to do is to run a BNC cable through the camera to the DVR, okay? And if you see a video recorder like this, it has no BNC connectors. Then this is called a network video recorder. It's supposed to work with a digital camera, yeah? like uh, this camera, or the digital AI camera, okay? So now we focus on this DVR. So 
the DVR is shipped uh, without hard disk drive. So we need to remove the cover using screwdriver and we need to install the HDD first uh, or hard disk drive first, okay. So okay, we have removed all the screwdriver. Let's remove the cover. Okay, let's look inside. There is a SATA connector, okay. So we just need to buy the SATA drive. I recommend it to buy a SATA drive with a capacity less than one T, okay. Because uh, the more you have, and the longer you can record the video. So let's look at it. This is a SATA connector, and this is a power supply. And uh, after we have put them together, we need to, there is four pin, four holes here. And look at the back, see here? You can just see the four holes. Then use the uh, screws to fix the hard disk drive. So if you look at the back provided in this box, there are several screws. The screw, you can use this screw to fix it, apply here. So we install the cover and uh, we using the HDI, HDMI cable to connect it uh, to your display, LCD monitor. And then using power, using the Ethernet cable to connect uh, to your hub. Why do you need the Ethernet cable? Because you do want to assess, remotely assess this DVR using the mobile app. Okay, we're going to go to that section uh, later. And then uh, using the supplied uh, uh, 12 volts, 2 amp power supply to apply power to the DVR. And uh, using the mouse, Okay, we are pretty much done. Now we just need to power it on. So there is no switch actually, if we look at the front, uh, no switch. So we just need to plug the power supply to the uh, outlet. Okay, we turn it on. See, we, we, we also need to connect uh, our uh, camera, okay. So, as I said, this is the analog camera. I'm gonna have this HD camera. Luckily, I have this cable. So I'm going to use this camera, connect it to channel one. Okay, connect here, and at the other end, connect it to V1 in the back. Okay, V1 in the back. Now we're gonna show the V1 in the back. Take a look at it here. Camera here. If you look at the back, the other side of the cable is connected to V1. Okay, 
So next, the password actually is blank. You can change the password later. Why you see those things? Because I do have some uh, IPC cameras in the same network. You will not get this, okay? Because I do have some cameras here. So this actually, this DVR is a really good uh, DVR. It's, a high, it's called a hybrid DVR. So it has DVR and also the N, part of the NVR function. Okay, the password is blank. So let's do this. You can change your time zone. And I'm actually at a mountain time. Okay, next. Get away. Let's try testing get away. So wide field, I connect my network. Oh, Jesus, I should get a DHCP enable. Try again. Try again. Now it's okay. Because uh, I was using the fixed IP address here. Now it's DHCP, okay? Dynamic uh, address, okay? Next. So this, we're going to talk about this portion later, how to add this device to the mobile app, okay? Right down. Click, right click, we get a main menu, and uh, go to the setting device tools. Where is my channel? The long record, playback. Here, right click, main menu, system, digital, channel type. So this means local and IP. This is IP for digital, so it can support, right now this mode support 8, 1080 N, NTC, P for PAL, so 8 analog one or you can go to four five megapixel NTC one or it can go to four 1080p see that's how it works or you can do combination of four and four okay in this case I'm going to pick eight okay check okay you know what, I forget to supply power supply to my camera. So I'm going to find a 12 volts one amp power supply. Okay, there you go. Okay, supply power. Now you can see my camera coming up. Right here. Yeah, you can see my camera. And uh, this is some other cameras, you don't care. And uh, recording mode. Now you can schedule if you want to record those things. Okay. Now we're going to come back to the uh, app site. And find XM, XM, I E Y E E. This one. Since I already installed, I just click open. Device list. Nothing yet. Going to click the add function. And it can scan. We already show you uh, on the previous video. If you go to your DVR, you collect the main value, advanced. Where is it? Um, device info. So what do we do? We go here, right click, start up, uh, start up, click next, 
Next, okay. Okay, back to here. Scan, scan, I come in here. Now click okay. Okay. Hmm, can move on. Here we go.